What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we are going to do a quick video about Gasternis. Gasternis is the archer specific beast, okay? So, this beast at max level gives you 60% archer attack, defense and march speed. It increases your battle speed by 120 okay you also get an additional archer HP plus 30% okay so th this is really good um, HP is I believe one of the best stats in the game then you get the hero skill Attack when leads Archer, Hero Skill Defense when leads Archer. As you guys can see, it's 60% and 40%, so it's pretty attack oriented, which makes sense because Archers are glass cannon and oriented around the attack. And then there is the Archer Invader Attack and Defense. This time it is even, it's 40% for both. And can I scroll a bit more? Nope. So yeah, that's about it. Um, it's a really good beast if you, if you want a lot of attacks. And now let's check the beast talent. So, this feature is only unlocked when you have a 7 star beast, okay? And when your chief all is level 25. Now, as you guys can see, I have spent everything on the blue side. It's the it's the, it's called the damage, okay? Then there is the archer side and the basic side. So, we will take a bit everything, okay? And I'm gonna explain to you why I picked this side and why maybe you should not do just like me. So, ba basic tree. Uh, first nod gives attack percent, so if you want to increase your attack, I recommend you go for that. Second is defense. And then you start unlocking unlocking stuff okay so these two steps and then you can choose to go this way this way this way this way okay <clears throat> so for the middle it's defense and then attack against white creatures okay right here it is march speed invader attack so attacking cities and front rows damage taken and defense so i believe that this whole side is trash why it's simple it increases your fr front row defense but archers are bad at defense so if you want to try and make up for this you can always try but i believe that you should go for what they are good at rather than trying to to deal with what they are bad with okay so this is what i think uh some people will not agree and they will try to to build beefy archers which is completely fine um maybe maybe i should have started with that actually there is no wrong way to build your beast like it is totally your choice and People can argue, and I believe that there are some things that are better than others, but at the end of the day, it's your decision, and I don't want to tell people what they should do regarding this feature, because it is also interesting to see what people will go for, and yeah, from what I learned, uh, it adds. I do have a pretty good idea of what works and what doesn't. But yeah, I, I'm not there to tell people to do this and this because they there is multiple things that works, not just one. And yeah, but I believe that this is a mistake and that is trash. 
you don't really need more attack while invading. I mean, it's cool, but it's pretty hard to level up a beast, so I would not make this a priority. March speed, the same, it's good, but nothing too fancy. Front row, as I was saying, not that great. Defense, not that great. Attack against wild creatures, completely useless. It is trash. Defense, okay, so this side, big nope. Let's see if this side is better. Okay, this, this time we get attack, so this is much better. Right here, invader, this is good, but nothing too fancy. Defense, this is useless. Back row damage date, this is much more interesting, especially for archers, okay? Then we have defense again. And hero skill defense when leads any warrior. This is pretty surprising because it's any warrior and it's a troop related beast. So interesting. Skill defense is always good because def uh, skill damage is pretty wild in this game. And then there is the HP. So I believe that this node is broken. HP is really strong. But once again, to get there and get the e, e, the HP, you have to work on a lot of stuff right there, okay, and right there to unlock there. So overall, I really don't recommend basic three. Uh, I mean, there is this this skill as well, but yeah, to me, basic three is trash. Don't go there. Um, the only thing I can recommend you to go for is the first node because you get you get this right right away, okay? And you can get up to six percent attack, and attack is always good. Then there is the archer. It's kind the red road is kind of what I call the PvP side, okay? Why is that? It's because you get the attack, mark speed, okay, this is pretty PvP thing. Then there's the Archer Control Immunity Chance. So it reduces the, ch the chances to get silent, suppressed, and stuff like that. So pretty much PvP related and pretty strong as well. It is crazy. The, the, this nut is crazy, okay? Then the ultra regular attack damage. This is cool, nothing too fancy, but pretty cool. Skates well. Ultra attack once again. Ultra HP, battle speed. This is really important right there. The battle speed in PvP. This is broken, very important. Ultra defense, not that important, but really cool to have. And then the weak spots. Hero skill attack when leading archer. So this is crazy. This increases your skill attack. This is pretty wild. Uh, overall, this side makes totally sense. It like everything is totally perfect for archers, and this is broken for PvP. Uh, battle speed. Yeah, we checked it out. HP, and then you f you end with ever braver. All archer squad have a chance of 50% to increase attack by 5% after after launching regular attacks and it lasts for two rounds so overall uh, I don't think you can make any mistake by going this way this is insane if you are a pvp player you spend a lot you can afford that and stuff like that I really recommend that you go this way now what about the other way archer defense okay not that good, but it's okay. Archer uh, HP, pretty broken. Increase infantry advantage over Archer. Uh, it reduces my bad. Reduces the... Okay, so... Archers are weak against infantry. With this, it reduces the... It reduces that. Then you get attack, pretty good. Attack once again, pretty good. Skill defense, pretty good. Archer defense, not that good. I mean, it's good, but yeah, as I was saying, I prefer to go full on and offensive with Archer. But 
if you want to get uh, to the bottom or yeah you it's necessary so yeah and then yeah defense and then you get reduces attack and skill attack of all enemy makes sense and the last one okay so basically if you want a lot of attack this side is for you and if you want to work on defense this side is for you you get attack and defense in both but globally this is attack okay and this is defense now why did i go for the um, the side called damage we all know that i'm one of the top players in the game and still i didn't go for the pvp the pvp side this is pretty simple it is because i don't believe that i spend enough to compete with the people that spend a lot in this game i am I think that I am in the top 10, may, maybe top 20 in the game or 30, like I'm, I'm fairly well ranked overall. But the people that are stronger than me spend like maybe 3, 5 or 10 times more than I do. And getting the battle speed and control immunity and stuff like that this is pretty cool but i will never catch up to them no matter what so i prefer to go damage because i use my bird uh my archer specific uh beast for pve my main objective with this beast is to get a very good score in barb fastness because i am main archer and at some point in the game, I will have T10, Archer, and Infantry, and I will just use Mixed Comps. So this hero isn't good for Mixed Comp anyway, so I decided to go all the way to the damage side, because my objective is to score well in PvE, and I'm not interested in PvP. But this is my, like, this is my choice, and... Maybe you are main archer and you want to go full PvP and then this build is what you, you got to aim for. Okay. So, yeah. <clears throat> so, squad attack. Uh, it's pretty much the same once again. There is an attack and defense side. So, this one, attack. Attack. Uh, HP. And damage so this is the attack side okay this is the defense side right there defense uh oh actually not all skill damage okay so this is cool defense and reg regular damage so yeah there's a bit of attack everywhere and a bit of defense but yeah most of the attack comes this way seal now regular attack pretty good march speed not that good i mean it's cool but it's nothing too fancy hp percent very very good um attack once again defense and the last node right here Increase by what one percent each round till the battle ends. So pretty good as you can see we have a lot of attacks and HP and skill damage When in the PvP sign right there, it is pretty Pretty clear that this is defense and this is attack. Okay, right here. It is overall like we have some defense uh, right here if I remember well yeah and uh, <clears throat> somewhere else yeah right here okay but overall it's pretty much damage oriented and this is why I went for this side then you have the special skill skills at the end so yeah 
damage damage and this is crit pretty uncommon but yeah it exists in the game and damage so well yeah it's not gold damage for nothing and this is the way i uh i went so yeah i think that's about it regarding gastronis um as you guys can see the talent tree is pretty arguable and I don't believe that there are no wrong choices, like all choices are arguable and people will have points for their decision. But yeah, I went damage side, I explained why. Uh, I don't think that people should follow that blindly. I re yeah, I, I think that I explained why I, I made this choice and I hope that people will understand why I made this choice, but don't follow blindly and maybe what you will want to go for is archer um keep in mind that you get a lot of attack right here so it might be pretty similar to the damage side but you will have more pvp oriented stuff right here okay with the the control immunity the battle speed and stuff like that so you really have to check all, all all the nodes of talents like we just did but maybe more in depth we've been pretty quick and you take your decision from there and what you have to understand is that it is pretty 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 hard to star up a beast okay so you also have to take that into account when you select your 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 beast talents because like if you are only level five or something like that then oh excuse me maybe the best decision is just to get like the first knot right here the first knot like right here and the first knot right here because you will get six percent attack six percent attack and once again six percent attack so overall you get a lot of attack okay so this might be the best thing to go like if you are if you are not able to afford a very high level beast this way you get the most attack you can like yeah so yeah you guys have to to use your brain take decisions and don't be afraid um, if really you messed up you can always reset your talent and yeah don't be afraid to mess up and I hope that this video will help you. I hope that you guys will understand more how talent works. Maybe it will orient your decision. Maybe it will have brought uh, some light to the feature and stuff like that. I hope it did. Uh, anyway, if you guys like the video, uh, don't forget to subscribe, like and comment. Uh, I will do some other video about the other beasts. Um, the only problem I have is that I won't be... Oh, okay, I can see the beast talent, even if it's not 7 star. Okay, so... Never mind, we have no problem. I was gonna say that I I can show you guys beast talent for other beasts and that I would have to ask someone if he can send it to me and stuff like that, but I can check it out, so no problem. So yeah, don't forget that the beast reserve right here is only available once you get Chifal level 25, so keep that in mind. This gives you the beast materials to level them up, level up beast, okay. And yeah, that is pretty much it's regarding gastronis and this video so catch you on the next video guys don't forget that everything is linked in the description of the video like my discord the patreon uh and stuff like that so check it out don't forget to join subscribe and give a like if it helped you see you guys thanks for watching